Hey guys, this is part two of this two part video. This is the final part. We thank you for watching part one. We hope that you enjoyed this second part. Don't forget to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to visit the TLP Amazon storefront to get your Coach Prime merch and your Colorado University Buffalo merch. So let's go ahead and get into part two. Here we are on Friday the 13th, and now we're playing these smart guys at Stanford, Stanford Cardinal. What's the fun fact? What's the fun fact about their mascot? There is no official mascot for the Stanford Cardinal. They have a tree, but that tree is associated with the band. That's on an official mascot just for historical information in 1930s to 1972 they were known as the indians how they got the cardinal so march 19 1891 they had a big game against cal the beat cal <laughs> the sports writers and the beat writers the headline writers stepped up again after the beat cal in a really big game in 1891 it was like hey yo what's up man how are we going to call them they didn't have no official nickname so they looked at the colors of the team and it was like, mm, it looks like a Cardinal to me. So they went with Cardinal and that's how they got their Cardinal name. They didn't have an official name. So the beat writers gave them a name, Cardinal. And it's singular, Cardinal, not the Cardinals. That's a cute story, but did we beat them? Did we not beat them? Let's find out from Tony. Let's go. This is the game right before the bye week. We are heading home with a win. The Buffaloes head into the bye week on a high as they take down the Stanford Cardinal on a Friday, the 13th matchup in October. We handed them a pretty nice beatdown, 35 to 17. Friday the 13th was a little bit scary. We went against these singular Cardinal, and we handed them the L. These smart guys can go home and go calculate some numbers and go do something smart. They're taking a break because it's a bye week. We're not taking a break, obviously, because in video land, we can fast forward who's next on our matchup. We come back October 28th, and we got UCLA. Fun facts. What's the fun fact about their mascot? UCLA is in a group of colleges. Well, their name is UCLA, University of California, Los Angeles. So within that group, there's the California Bears located in Berkeley. In 1919, the football team was known as the Cubs because of their relationship with their bigger brother, the Bears. 1923, they adapted another name called the Grizzlies. After 1923, three years later, 1926, they became the final 10th member of the Pacific Coast Conference, which is now the Pac-12, known as the Pac-10 at the time. So in that Pac-10, there was University of Montana. They were known as the Grizzlies. They said, nah, 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 slow your roll. We're already the Grizzlies. We were here first. You're joining us. You're the last to enter. You got to change your name. Sure. No problem. We'll change our name. We're just going to name ourselves the Bruins. That's how they became the Bruins. That's a cute story, but we got to move on. Do we win or do we lose? Okay, that's what you want to know. So week number nine at UCLA, guys, according to Tony, our resident expert, we lose. Take the L. Colorado stumbles out of the bye with a roll loss in Pasadena. 35 to 24, we're catching the L. We're six and two now. Remember when we cut our first loss, we can't be too high, we can't be too low. We got to stay neutral and look forward to the next game. So what's that next game? So now we're a little bit down, guys. October 28th, we caught that loss at UCLA. So we got to go face the Oregon State Beavers. Fun fact. What's the fun fact about their mascot? Their current name of the Beaver is Benny the Beaver. How they get the Beaver? So in 1916, they renamed their school yearbook to the Beaver. They liked that name so much, they changed the sports names to the Beaver. And the beaver became associated with the name of the school. So remember Ellis Gregory? So legend has it that he had a low sum to do with them changing the name to the beaver. So when he's writing, when he gets back to his computer, he starts writing the headlines and stuff like that for the school. He's like, yo, why don't you just call the name of the teams the beavers? Is that your favorite story? I don't know. Tell me if that's your favorite story or one of the other stories, guys. Go to the comments. Let me know what your favorite story is so far, guys. Tony Casolo, please let us know what happened. Tony says, we lose. Beavers gave us the business. Colorado drops a tough contest against a physical Beaver squad. 28 to 20. We lose by eight points. But right now we are six and three. Go ahead and move on to the next game. All right, November 11th. We're prepping for a lot of different things. We're prepping for the holidays. We're playing Arizona Wildcats. Meow. Right now I'm just thinking about Tony, okay? I don't care about this story no more. <laughs> You're like me. I don't care about how they got the Wildcats. I just want to know what Tony got to say. But come on, we got to stay true to the video, okay? Fun fact. What's the fun fact about the mascot? This one comes from November 7th, 1914. After a very tough game against a college called the Occidental College Tigers. So after that gruesome game, an LA Times columnist, he wrote for the Arizona team showed fights of a Wildcats. Their fight and their body in the way that they crawled, their tenacity, everything just reminded him of a wild cat. That sounds pretty nifty. So their first live mascot was actually a bobcat. The actual bobcat was purchased by the freshman football team and given as a gift. That bobcat's name was Tom Easter. So on October 18th, 1915, at an assembly, they presented Tom Easter the bobcat. 
So they had a Bobcat as their actual live mascot. So let's go ahead and wow over to Tony and see that these Bobcats scratch us too much. Uh, week 11 versus Arizona, the Wildcats, we win. We get the W. This was a home game. According to Tony, we were able to right the ship and get the win. 42 to 24. We are now 7 and 3. Our spirits are back up and we're going on to the next game. This is our game against the Washington State Cougars. Fun fact. What's the fun fact about their mascot? So an October 25th game in 1919, there was a game against Cal. The Washington State team, they fought hard. They played so hard that that game on October 25th made headlines. The people who wrote the story about that game and how hard they fought, they just wrote this that man their speed and their tenacity just reminded them of a cougar so from that day they ran with that name they was like oh we like that so that's how they got their name speaking of cougars let's go ahead and speed over quickly to tony and see if we lost or we won tony how did we do week 12 at washington state we win we get the w tony got us a w nah <laughs> not tony <laughs> the guys win. Apparently, we were equally matched. They had a great quarterback. We have a great quarterback in Shador. We had a four-point advantage, 38 to 34. We are now eight and three. That is not a bad record. We are way above 500, which is the requirement for us to qualify for one of these bowl games. So let's go to the next game and see how we fare out. So November 25th is the final regular season game. This is it, guys. We got to end this on a high note so we can go into the playoffs feeling good about ourselves and then keep our fingers crossed. Depending on how other schedules are at eight and three, if we win the next one, we can be sitting pretty nice to get one of the top ball games utah utes what's the fun fact about their mascot so they adopted the utes in 1972 utes are actually an indian tribe that settled in utah the two most common definition of what ute mean is people of the mountains or top of the mountains so the school has permission from the utes tribal council to use that name as their nickname for the school their bird is their actual mascot all right, so here's the final season, guys. How do we end the season? Week number 13 at the Utah Utes. How do we do, Tony? Come on, Tony. You my guy. Be my guy, please. How do we do, Tony? At the Utah Utes, we lose. We catch an L, they get the W. So the Utes are able to defend Rice Echoes against the high-scoring Buffaloes by slowing things down with a physical run game. So their run game is pretty nice. They're able to defend their stadium. 28 to 21, that's not a bad note to end on, but we're eight and four. So we may get an invitation to a bowl game. If we win that, that's gonna be a good look for us. With an eight and four schedule, we're definitely not chip contenders. That's for sure. We are not getting invited unless every other team just does really poorly. This is not a chip year for us this is a really solid year for us first year for coach prime he can take this and we can build upon this if you made it to this point of the video a lot of you are not going to make it to this point i understand that but some of you are my bwbs my people who really like the information that i'm presenting i know you're here with me please go to the comments those of you who made it to this part of the video let me know what your favorite mascot story is what do you think about the wins and losses what do you think about the predictions what are your predictions all my pros all of my college people let's have a discussion in the comments i will see you guys on the next video thanks for watching. I'm Harry B with TLP Sports Club. Bra